Hey everybody, I'm Andy Dead, back with some more Until Dawn. Last time we finished the second chapter of the game, we saw, we played as Sam, was it? Yes, it was Sam, where she went into the basement with uh, Josh to light up the boiler. They had uh, a prank with Chris. Yes, it was Chris. And then we played as Emily and Matt on their way to get her bag back. And then also had a session with the therapist. But now we're ready to begin the next chapter. And obviously we're going to see a little recap. So let's do that. Previously on Until Dawn. It was just a prank, Han. That was way previously on Until Dawn. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedies of Hannah and Beth Washington. The twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I don't know, dude. They're pretty dead. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Yes, yes, you, you keep reminding us that. Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, the recap videos look like terrible quality. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Oh, watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Yes, he is. That's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> yes! All right. It says here. Haunted. Eight hours until dawn. World, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And you don't look like anything, master. Their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. It's not serious, it's a game. Deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. All right. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Spirits, we back on the... You're a recent convert. Why don't you be our medium for today? Well, let's be serious about this. Okay. Um, is anyone there? No. Will you reveal yourself to us? No. If you're there? I'm not here. There. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know I think Josh is doing that. Them. All right. Who needs help? Yes. Who I'm guessing Anna. Oh, here it goes. Okay, S. Oh. I. S. T. Sister. E. R. Sister. Sister? Who's sister? Oh, come on. Is this for real? Shut up. Yeah, Chris is not buying it. Josh, it's, so it's, it's just Josh doing it. Okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Hey, who there? Uh, Hannah, is that you? Who are we speaking to? Hannah? Is that you? Yes. Oh God. <laughs> this is messed up. Josh, are you? Fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. You motherfucker, you're pulling a fast one on them. Think about it. If this is actually Hannah, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Josh. I can handle it. Of course. Okay. You are doing this. Um, let me think. What happened that night? Oh, we could also apologize. Yeah, let's do that. Hannah, if you can hear this, like, really hear this, we all want to apologize for what happened. And now, it was stupid and, and the spirit will say, screw you We're all. Sorry. We're so sorry, Hannah. B? Bullshit. E? B? T? B? Tr? Uh, I don't like this. Betrayed. What does she mean? Ooh. Oh, it's still going. Oh, God. K? I? L? 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 
Pete? Dee? No. Kill. We didn't kill them. It was just a prank. A Ash, calm, calm down, okay? Just we, we, we need to find out more. I'm sorry. I am guys, so guys, sorry. What, what do they mean? Ashley, Ask calm them down. It's, it's, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Okay, how did you die? Okay. Okay. How did you die? Hannah, what happened to you? L? I? B? The library. Maybe there's something in the library e here? E? R? O? O? Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library? Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> I don't believe they're buying this. No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no, you are doing that. I wanted to use the spirit board. Hey, hey calm down. It's it's not as I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. You are full of it. You, you terrible person. I mean, you have every reason to be terrible to them, but... Still, let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. If, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. Yes, Josh was doing that. Says we should look in the library. Okay, we go detective mode, I guess. Or not? Maybe? No, we're not going detective mode. We are going Mike mode. Jess! We're going. This is hero mode. All right, let's find this. I mean, if she's pulling a prank, this would be the second or third time this is happening in this game. And yeah, it's not cool. Don't do that. Not funny. Anything here? Jess. And jump scare? You in there? Let's open it. Another animal. Ah! Whoa! It would have been much better if it was an animal. <sighs> it scared blue out of my jeans. <laughs> no, no, it scared the brown out of your jeans. All right, let's look at it again. And that should be enough. Yes. Let's find out where Jessica is. Light of my life? Oh boy. I can hear some animal sounds, but... I totally promise I won't murder you when I find you. Uh, don't make promises you can't keep. Oh my god! No. That's not cool. Don't do that. No! Wait, wait, wait. You had to see those. You had to I'm not seeing it. No. No. no! You recorded that? Look at your face! I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. Last time you were pulling pranks, a year ago, two girls died. Um, and you still do that. Kill you. And I'm the bad person for calling you all bad people. You like scream, Michael. Guess you never really know someone until you scared the pants off of them. Well, okay, you win. Let's get it over with. All right, fine. You win. It's not a contest. But I do win. Every time. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, babe. <laughs> and what's this? Predator? We have predators now. Well, no, but it could be. It would make for a much better story, I guess. Let's check out this totem here. Ooh, and someone is climbing inside the mines. But who was that? It didn't look, look like... Was that Jessica? Maybe. Who knows? We'll find out, I guess. Ooh, and this is a lovely spot. Wow. It's kind of like a real winter wonderland out here now. Hey, girl, you know I have you Mm-hmm. And we get to the freaking cabin, though. Moving on. Another totem, maybe? No? Can't see anything around here. I heard something weird. Was it someone screaming? No. No, she 
sounded more like an animal squealing. And another fire there in the background. Or is it a light or something? Yeah, maybe it's these light poles. Susu? What? Do you hear that? No. Somebody's getting closer. Hello! Hello. Someone there? No. Ooh, let's do that. Even though sometimes it's better if you don't do anything. Ooh. Ooh, don't get cornered by that animal. Well, didn't kill you, barely grazed you, but... Where am I supposed to be going again? This way. Alright, a little jump scare later, we are moving forward. I mean, the setting is nice, but it's all cheap. It's all cheap jump scares, so. And terrible characters, so. Yeah. This is not a cabin. Stupid girl. This is obviously not the cabin. Alright, let's look around. Ooh, a mask. A miner's mask. Okay. Ooh, yes, so here. Where is he? Hey. Check out this mask. Oh, why? It's weird, right? Me out. Why? I think you like it. Oh my god. This is a reference to my bloody Valentine, that old movie and that terrible remake. I think I've picked most of the references so far, but yeah, I'm bound to miss a few. Let's check inside this little hat sack or whatever it's called again. No, nothing more. Let's keep going. Come on, Jessica, let's go. Another totem, maybe? Because apparently, yeah, Mike has a record for finding totems. Ooh, and two paths again? No, just one. Just over there. Alright, moving on. Yeah, seriously. I'm not sure I want to know. Oh. Well, that's the sound of an animal dying. Ooh. Ooh, that... That wound... Horrible. I don't think he's going to make it. It's not going to make it. So... Yeah, let's... Let's try and put it out of its misery. Okay, bud. Hey. I'm gonna make she will not like that. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, geez, how do I... Uh, well... I can't watch this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ah! Oh, my. Mike, what, what did you do? What the fuck? It came up. Yeah, that cut was deep. Ooh. Ooh, run. Quick time event. And square. And what's next? Well, I don't think it's a bear. And follow path. Stay on the path. We're almost there. And more quick time. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, this and down and go and run. Oh, that was it. So there was absolutely... Uh, help Jessica, help Jessica. There was absolutely no point in getting the shortcut. Come on, we gotta go! I am! <sighs> Don't be so mean. He's trying to help you. And pointless. What? Had it under control. Whole time. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit indeed. 100%, 110. Oh. Holy crap. 
up, I feel like I just ran a marathon. Yeah, I can see that. Is it a bear? Yeah, it gotta be. Things are crazy fast. I mean, I didn't see it. Hey, things are not gonna come barging in, I promise. How can you be sure? Because I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabinets. Well, they can knock them down if they need. What? Where? On the internet. Don't say the name of the site, though, eh? Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. Yes, yes, it totally is real life. Or anything else, it's gonna open that cabin door. Well, don't be so sure about that. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Let's get the fire going. And let's... Then let's get some flames going. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yes. We're getting there. Right. Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Well, it I would be better if you started the fire. He needs a proper romantic setting. And you know, when some warmth. Not okay, that kind of warmth, though. With her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. Well, it'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Dude, just get the fire started. Fire and mood lighting. Yes, my lady. <sighs> yes. All right, we're back in control, so let's check around. Ooh, yes, this might be useful. Come on. Ah. This will take care of the mood lighting. Yeah, very great mood lighting. We're gonna need some wood. And yeah, just two will right. do it for now. Logs are ready to go. Just need a match. And we also need to check around here for clues and stuff. Native American myths and legends. By Joseph Malik. And can we turn it? No, just that. The mother... No, I want to read that. I wanted to read that game. Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going. Yes, yes, okay. Pronto. The mother bear returned. She wasn't ready to attack the merchant, but she managed to... But he managed to escape with her cap's pelt. Ooh. A mad eagle saw this and swooped at the merchant as he ran through the trees, but the gunshot frightened the eagle away. The merchant was leaving the forest and was gleeful, thinking of the money that would soon be his. But a great tree fell, blocking his way. I'm reading. But the great tree fell, blocking his way. He had to turn back to find another route. And that is where he met the bear once more. The great spirit stopped him that day, and the bear had its revenge. To anger the earth is to sacrifice your life. The great spirit sees all. Remember that and be wary. Respect is the way of the tribe. It's so cold in here right now, my Ooh. Stuck to your flagpole. Looks like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. Yes, exactly. Not make me feel any better. Native American signs and symbols. Native American hunters used symbols and signs scratched onto trees or daubed onto walls to communicate with their tribe members. Many symbols conveyed religious or mystical beliefs, others warned of danger or offered protection, and some told of good hunting grounds. Most symbols were specific to the tribe that used it and would be unrecognizable to other tribes. Shown below and opposite are some symbols used by tribes in North America and Canada. Image of a hunter, symbol, good hunting ground. Image of a butterfly symbol, a vision or dream of the future, yes, we've already seen that with the totems. Image of a skull symbol, a word or spell protecting against evil spirits. We saw that earlier, I think. While we were playing, yeah, as uh, Mike and Jessica in the mines. Alright, anything back here? No. Anything here? Ooh, a yes. rifle. Look at this! Is it a fire? No. No. Way cool. But it fires. So. Well, take out the gun, yeah, don't scare her. Huh? Nope. Hey, like me now. Less. Oh my god. Why do guns make them go completely bonkers? Well, it's society's fault, but let's leave this conversation for another time. And there's a book there as well, or a leaflet, or manual or something. Alright, let's get back to that freaking fire because I'm beginning to feel cold right now. Ooh, did I mess things up? Shit. Fuck, my 
Je gelooft weer de telefoon. Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone, okay? Yes, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can you find it? Crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. Convenient. Yeah. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. Well, if nothing else kills you before that. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. Let's get the fire going first. It's got to be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear. Or Why not? Whatever it is. Bears are cool. Fine. They eat stupid people. People stupid enough to go near them. Yes, take the freaking matches. Why do we have to do everything? Lucky, lucky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since you got here, haven't you? Yes, he has. Anything back here? No. In the fridge? Well, maybe not. Ooh, and what is that? Should we power nice. up the light? This will lighten up the mood a little. Horror games and fuse boxes. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Hey, are you okay? They don't go what well together. It's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. Well, okay. Let's get the fire going. You've got faulty wiring. Just one match? Yeah, that's bad. Man one, fire zero. Yeah, now she's happy. Bravo. All right, my lady. Let's get down to what business. Comes next. I think. Well, I I wish we had some booze. Uh, about that. Well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know. I'm kind of just I'm not feeling it yet. Well, hmm. Let's reassure him. Be the good guy for once. Doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does if that makes sense? No. It's not your fault. Uh, Jess, I really like you. Whoever you think I am, well, just give me a chance and I will show you what you need. Oh. Well, I am liking your confidence. Oh. Mike. Oh? The shutters. Oh. About them. Um, Shut them. Close them, please. <laughs> There's just no one out there. There is a bear. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah bears are known to be voyeurs. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shudder it is. Okay, that was weird. I have to admit. Let's close the shutters and jump scare. Yes, come on. I have to do this step by step. This is getting ridiculous. Come on, Mike. Voila. Shutters are shut in. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, the fact I'm you... Sorry. She didn't feel like it. I'm sorry. I think I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what up? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath... I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of insecure. I don't buy that. Well... Ooh... Both are terrible answers. Let's go with your super hot. Jess... You've gotta be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh! <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. It's just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. Ooh, dude. No. Nope. How to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yeah. I guess I do. Yeah. And that's super fucking hot. Okay, you I got here, I have to admit. Yeah, hell yeah, it is. Come here. Yes. Get there. Maybe I know how to handle you too. Oh my, YouTube is gone definitely gonna terminate my channel. Ooh. Monster? You are a creepy monster. 
That's a bad thing you're doing. Ooh, heat vision is heating up. Can I control the monsters or something? Predator? Oh! What? Hello. What is that? I don't know. Okay, well, go find out now, please. Well. Oh. Things here? A photo. Who is that on the photo, though? I can't tell, to be honest. Ooh. Ooh, and there's the broken window. Anything else around here? No, doesn't look like it, but here is her phone. And it's then on playing Untitled Unknown Artist. Okay. I'm guessing we'll find out by the copyright it's notice. Phone. It was the bear. It had the count and kindness to return it. How is it my phone? Because it is. Came through the window. Yeah, phones tend to do that on their own. Oh, for fuck's sake, god damn it. What? Those Goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. <sighs> oh, she's pissed. You're gonna oh, get a cold yeah, like that. Rex, that means you. I know you're out there. The fuck are you trying to do? Eat you? Because Michael and I oh my, bleep that, bleep that. That's right, we are going to have sex. No, that you can leave unbleeped. YouTube doesn't mind that. That's the word. Fuck. Break. So about that... Coitus you mentioned. Oh, 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 what the fuck. Uh, go help her. Go help her. Oops. Did they? Did they kill her? Do you really think the girls were communicating with us? Did they fuck up already? I don't know if I wish they were, or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. And now we're playing as Ashley, so let's start saying around. Chris, you're blocking the camera. Oh fuck it, I'll follow you. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... He's not keeping it together. his sisters? It's yeah, maybe... Back up here. Before all this happened, like, before this meeting, you know, getting up here, you should have talked with his parents or something. Let's check around. Ooh. Light from below. Do you see that? Yeah. Somebody went. Yeah, that's weird. Anything else? This door, can we open it? No, of course not. And. Okay, we're cool to go, I guess. Oh! There's a button there. Are you okay? I think so. Look! What? There was something behind the box. What is a that? button. Is it a button? Why would God there be damn a it. button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. Uh, not always. Some buttons are kill buttons. Ooh, secret password. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Josh is ever doing all this, at least what happens in this house with them, because we have been over and over and over again been told that his father is a producer and director and all that so he pretty much would know the tricks on how to do these things and now we're playing as chris that was that was ashley's section that fast anything back here to check out mm, doesn't look like it all right down the stairs we go into the creepy secret behind the library path Ooh, and a camera view Oh, a picture of Anna and Meth. Portrait photo. What? Whoa, is what this... did you find? Yeah. Game. I will 
take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fucking 16 years. 16 years I waited for pretty little Hannah and Beth. This is supposedly written by that janitor that was fired by uh, their parents, by the Washingtons. Holy cow. Ooh. Let's be honest. Now, now Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? It's a photo. Look at this photograph. Be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. Well, we need to find Josh right now. If it's actually what happened and that janitor killed them or whoever wrote this uh, letter killed them, it's not a threat, it's a statement. It's an acceptance of uh, your crimes. So this would actually hold up the court if it could have been proven that it was written by the assailant. But that's just legalese and now... Oh boy, let's go further into the nightmare. No, no, just walls. Didn't we come from here earlier? Ooh, another clue. Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? Possibly. November 8th, 2013. Race and assistant department, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear Dr. Swafam, thank you for your response. It's good to know that the tribe still feel an attachment to the land here, even if we have a few unfortunate problems, graffiti, people sleeping in outbuildings, etc. This is their ancestral home, after all. I have made contact with the descendants of the tribe and intend to make a donation to their elder council. Killing the wounds of the past won't be easy, but I feel it's a step that it's necessary. Yours is simply Melinda Washington. On reverse, show that crazy guy again. Uh, Thursday, 19 p.m. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. 9.17 p.m. Come on, let me talk. 9.17 p.m. Hang around the generator shed. I'm gonna start keeping a record. Ooh, now that will be interesting. All right, let's move forward. And what have we here? A door that I'm guessing we cannot go through. Anything else before we try it out? No, I'm guessing we're supposed to go back there, but first let's check out this door. And of course we can't open it, so... Yeah, moving on. So, um... I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? Yes, so? back at the. And Sam really. Well, not Taylor. No. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? Well, technically, most of you are accomplices, but okay. It, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean. Maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library. The, light. the clue we saw? Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? I just the guy who threatened the Washington. told you. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And killing their daughters. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better... He's just fine. stating the fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're coming to you, uh, ghost. You hear that? Oh, it's Josh! Coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Oh! Oh! What the flip? Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Again. Ashley! Ooh, let's try and barge in. Ash? Ash? Oh! Oh! And lights out for you, Chris. Don't you do anything weird with her? Okay, that's Josh. We got it. Oh, you're setting up another scene, huh? Eh? 
Oh. Now you've brought the clowns. And gore. And what is that over there? I don't know. Oh, it's a dead animal. And where's the jar of roses? I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. All right. I'd like. It's a vague statement, but okay. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. I'm guessing they are not so... Yeah, let's take our time. So here we have Sam and Josh. Definitely Sam. And turn the page again. And uh, among the two, yeah, I'd go for Mad. And turn the page. Ooh, now these two. Well, there. I like them equally, but Chris was kind of a douchebag with that prank earlier, so let's go for Ashley. And turn the page. Neither. So far, neither, honestly. Let's go with Jessica. Okay, that was creepy. I already told you I don't like either of those two, but I'm guessing, yeah, you're pinging the characters that I said I don't like. All right. Turn the page and jump scare from him. Well, I'd say I prefer Chris because he's less of a douchebag than... Mike? So tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently... Why do you always use that word? That you most dislike. Diligently. Ooh, now if I say I dislike Josh, I will sound like a douchebag because, yeah, he has every reason to be mean to them. But... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, full of surprises. I I'm guessing you would say the same. You're far better now. But we're out of time. I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time. Don't be too hard on Joshua. He's been through. He's been through so much. But you know that already, don't you? Is it Joshua that's having the sessions? Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, this is gonna do it for for now the story is finally getting somewhere things are starting to happen again that's what i said at the ending of the previous chapter as well but yeah this time it seems like things are actually happening and i have said before that i've watched playthroughs of this game and actually i've played a bit of it myself back in the day but i can't remember much to be honest i have vague memories of how the story turns out but it's enough just to not get me surprised, but also not enough so as I know what's gonna happen next. At any rate, we're gonna see how the game goes next time. Until then, stay safe and have fun.